Okay, so we got the Polygon basically in its final configuration. We're going to ride it this season. You see I got the 11-speed uh, cassette on there. I got my Dior derailleur and my uh, JG bike uh, one-by drive, my wake bars. So the only thing we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to weigh the bike. If you if you remember back a few videos, I weighed all the bikes, and um, we're going to weigh it again, see if it gained or lost any weight. All right, so we weighed it last time. You saw in a little clip, it's thirty five point seventy five pounds. So <clears throat> we're going to weigh it and see what it weighs now. Thirty-three. Is it thirty-three point nine five? Looks like thirty-three point nine five. Okay. All right. So we got thirty-three point ninety five on a scale. The strap weighs point eleven. So we got thirty-three point eighty four. The original weight when we weighed it was thirty-five point seventy five. So we saved almost two pounds. Which isn't bad. The, the the point was that it saved the weight. I wanted to, I wanted to change the gearing and stuff so it's better, easier to ride. So we're gonna take this out now. This is essentially the way it's gonna be. There's a few little things I'll do on it before you know I ride it. But uh, I'm gonna bring in bring in our uh, Kmart Kawasaki and we're gonna work on that. Why do you always call it a Kmart Kawasaki? Well, because it's not really made by Kawasaki. And years ago. Kawasaki they actually made a BMX bike, full suspension BMX bike. It was a pretty goofy looking bike, but you know, Kawasaki and Yamaha, Yamaha actually uh, made them too, but this is not one of them. Huh. This is the next project we're going to be working on, and this is the, probably the one I would get the most criticism of even bothering with. We've had this bike probably 20 plus years. It's a 40 pound bike, 5x3 drivetrain. But uh, the person that rides it enjoys riding it. She's a family friend and she goes riding with us. So um, I'm going to update it and try to lighten it up a little bit. It, I'm going to try to get put the 7 speed cassette from the Avigo on here. The width of the frame is a little off, but I think I can spread it a little. And I have a different axle, so I think I can make that work. And then I can do <clears throat> my derailleur from the Avigo and my 7 speed trigger shifter. And then I'm going to put the um, Buccalos one by drive on there. And that'll take off probably two pounds. These things are big steel cranks, plus the derailleur would be gone. And I might really get crazy and put a, little, put a little universal air shock on there. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But, uh, you know, just updated a little bit. It's mostly free parts. So it's not like I'm really spending a lot of money or anything. And... It's just fun to do, and the person enjoys riding it, so I think it's worth it. So the next video we do, we're going to be working on this bike some, and I'll see you then.